Previously on Alice 19th. Bitter words born from spite, a complicated romantic situation, and a disappearing act. Oh my. Now, the conclusion in today's episode. So after that delightful little moment, Alice collapses only to find that she's chasing Mayor through a nightmare. And before she wakes up, Inuzik explains that Mayor is lost in the realm of darkness and Alice has to go save her. Jeez. Although I will admit I do like where they're going with this where it's a power theme. Alice and Keo go back to school the next day to a lukewarm reception as Alice is able to read all the negative thoughts about her from the fellow students, which begins to cause her physical pain. Good lord. Now, granted, that can happen, speaking from experience here. Actually, no, that's usually caused due to stress, but we're getting into real world stuff. This is supposed to be a high fantasy manga. So let's continue. Overwhelmed by all this negativity, Alice follows Neo Zaka's instructions and repeats a rather special chant. And what does this chant do for her? Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the world of darkness. Huh. Kinda looks like a realm where only extreme wrestlers wrestle. You know, ECW, Combat Zone, those kind of guys. Heck, even Alice herself thinks this is a weird looking place. And who should show up but an aggravated Tetsuya? If only because he wants to get the crap out of Kyo. Jerk. Alice demands for him to stop, which results in this happening. Not bad for your first try. Also not good either. After they make a run for it, they come across Mayura uh, before Alice makes her way towards her and gets barred off by the wires created by an angry Tetsuya. Oh hey, Kyo's awake now. And he's understandably confused as to where he is. So after Kyo makes his way to a rather exhausted Alice, she gets snagged in the ankle by a strand of barbed wire and ends up in oh my. I seriously do not like where this is going. So out of an act of desperation, Alice sums up the courage Get it? to use the magical lotus wood. And tell Tetsuya how she really feels. That she held no interest in him, that she's in love with someone else, and one day she'll have the courage to tell that someone else that she's in love with him. Soon. Not soon enough. We then cut to Mayura joining the dark side before this mysterious figure who's accepting her attacks Alice and she's rescued by Keo. No, no, I'm gonna continue this review. We're this far in. I ain't stopping now, not since we're almost done. Yeah, you apparently can use the Lotus words too. Come on, a lot of you watching this already know you saw this coming a mile away. He is a love interest, after all. But his efforts are of no avail as Mayura joins the dark side and they return to the real world. And all is well before this mysterious guy shows up and declares Alice to be his bride. 
You're probably wondering who this mysterious man is. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. You're gonna have to wait till I review Volume 2. Yeah, this is how Volume 1 ends. <laughs> so until then, I've got some unfinished business. And um, aside from that, this is Demonic Grimson signing out. I will see you all in the next video. Happy Valentine's Day, and have a good one. Because I know a lot of you will. Friends of mine.